God bless you. This is Apostle Susan Ton. This is the second message. Now may the Lord bless you. All my life you have been faithful. I will see of a goodness of God. He is so faithful to me. My life you have been faithful. Faithful you are. All my life you have been faithful. Every man that I have made, Lord, I will see of goodness of God. May Lord bless you, this is Apostle Zanton. In the mighty name of Jesus, may Lord bless you, bless you, bless you. Now, I go to my message. Uh, I finished speaking to from Apostle Joseph Solomon. Now I'm speaking from Pastor Christian. Pastor Christian from Nigeria. Also from Nigeria. In the mighty name. This is Apostle Zanton Holland. This is Apostle Jose Antonio in Holland. Now may Lord bless all of you will listen in the mighty name, including YouTube, everything I will no one anymore will run for my my emails or whatever. You run, you have a problem. No one. You run, you don't answer, I will speak in Jesus' name. This kind of things so or barrier or block or whatever, or no one to see me to do the God's will. No, you cannot block me. Because the Lord spoke to me that Jose, the anointing you are carrying, I saw my anointing, they put cement, beton. My anointing was breaking, include cement, beton. Do you understand? This anointing is not for me, it's from God Almighty, in Jesus' name. Now, may the Lord bless you, in Jesus' name. Father, in Jesus' name, help me not to reveal for Pastor Christ, for whatever you have spoke to me, in Jesus' name. Thou are welcome for your glorious name. Now, this is what the Lord revealed to me uh, from Pastor Christ from Nigeria, in Jesus' name. I'm seeing the vision what the Lord gave to me. This vision I'm seeing, if you see my Facebook, you will see Pastor Christ and Pastor Benihim. I'm seeing these two men with the white clothes, white, white, all white, both of them. Then the Lord says, Jose, I want to show something. You see these two? Yes, I'm seeing it. Then, uh, wait, I will read for you first. The Bible says, in Matthews 10, Matthews 10, and verse 26, Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed. Nothing covered that shall not be revealed. And hidden that shall not be knowing what I tell you in darkness that speak ye in the light and what he hear in the ears that preach is upon the house tops do you understand and the Bible says and the Bible says in um, uh, in the same version in, uh, in the same uh, Matthew 10 32 Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess him also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. When we deny him, not to make things right in this life, do you understand? He will deny us. Do you understand? The Bible says God is faithful. Do you understand now? All we have sinned. Do you understand now? All we have sinned. We have sinned. Do you understand? But is faithful to forgive us. Faithful. Let me read it because the English is not my... Uh, do you understand? Let me read. He is faithful. If we deny them... Do you understand? If we deny them, we have a big, big, big problem. And we, we have a big, big problem. Now the Bible says in 1 John, 1 John verse 8, If we say that we have not sinned, 
we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess as is, if we confess, there is no forgiveness without the confession. There is no forgiveness. If we confess, we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Do you understand them? If we confess, when you don't confess, there are no forgiveness. And the blood of Jesus will not wash you. Do I? Because you don't confess. Do you understand? Him? Now, I'll go to the revelation. Here's what the Lord revealed to me from Pastor Christian. Do you understand? Him? Because I can look at, the, look at contact for these men. They will not allow me. <laughs> They will not allow me. Why? Uba Angel is a son for Pastor Chris. The son of a pastor, of a prophet, Uba Angel, God is speaking contact to contact. They don't allow it. You think they will allow me to Pastor Chris? No. Do you understand them? But to prove them, I am a pastor of Jesus Christ. No one will run for me. You run for me, you are run for your disaster. Do you understand them? You run for me, then God will reveal to me where you, you go running, and then God will reveal me what the problem is there. Do you understand now? This is the anointing I'm carrying. Do you understand? Now I'm going to the revelation. The Lord spoke to me. I saw, I saw Benim and, and um, Pastor Chris, all of them in a white clothes. White clothes, both of them. And then the Lord spoke to me. Look at them, both of them. Do you understand now? When I was looking both of them, now the Lord say, you will see who is the one for me. Do you understand now? This is frightening what I saw. I'm seeing both of them, they need to enter to the water. Like people, they need to die and resurrect. Do you understand now? When we receive a baptism with Jesus, and then we go to the water, and then we come, we died with him and resurrect. Now both of them, both of them, they... It was with white clothes, and it was now going to enter the water. And they say, the one who will enter the water and come out, this is for me. Do you understand? Now? <laughs> Boom! Both of them do. They was went and the Lord, the Lord at the back, both of them front, and I was just watching. When they start to go, both of them, Pastor Benihim and Pastor Christ. Oh Lord, sorry. Do you understand now? When they enter, Joe, Benihim, enter. When Benihim enter, he enter in the water, Joe. When he enter, he disappear. And then, Joe, Benihim resurrected. Resurrected. All people, the plows. Now, Pastor Christ to go. When Pastor Christ went, Joe, The water swallow him. He did the resurrected. Very frightening when I saw it. Very frightening. Be careful, men of God. Men of us who think we can go do things or hide the things. We can hide the things to people, whatever. And God does see these things. This revelation. If it's fake, why now I'm see beneath him? Do you understand? This is a great, great warning for all of us. I'm telling you, those who surround the men of God, do your best, bring this message. We need to pray for this men of God. Helping this men of God. That's why you see things, divorce or whatever. Oh, okay, sorry, but It can happen to every, everyone. But when things enter, do you understand now? And we don't speak, we don't confess what is this. Or maybe he has uh, grieved the Holy Spirit. Do you understand now? I think sometimes God says, do reconciliation, do these things, do these things. And then we just keep it the word. The Bible, the Bible is revealed by the Spirit. The Scripture kills. But the Spirit gives life to the Scriptures. We cannot build our mind just so scripture, scripture, and you don't know the one, you don't fear the one who the scripture speaks. You don't respect the one who the scripture speaks. 
We just defend it. Why? Because we know for generous, including uh, 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 revelation. All the way. This is where we know. You come with this word. I speak word for wisdom. I speak this. I do, 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 do. To defend yourself. Do you understand now? All these things we do that to please the people. But the one who send us, he get grieved. And when the presence of God left, Samson wish not the, the presence of God has left him. We cannot play with the presence of God. The presence is a tribute. The presence of God is a character. That is the one we need to cover more precious than powers. Because when the prince left, it's the most danger. Power cannot protect us. But the presence protects the power. Do you understand? Because in the presence of God, there is the source of the power. But if we just honor the power and despise the presence, because the presence is the one who revealed the sin. The presence is the one who speaking. Mm, Go examine yourself. The presence is the one who speak to us that is a forgive. The presence is the one who say that is a go reconciliation. The presence is the one of Almighty God. And when these things begin to happen, and then when when we don't wash ourselves in the presence of God Almighty, no control yourself in the presence of God, then the Spirit of God gets grieved. Then the presence is left. And then we just with the scriptures. Oh Jesus. Why this? Jesus. Why this? Oh Lord Jesus. I speak the word. I speak the um, let me speak the word from, from faith. And the spirit is somewhere there. The presence. May Lord bless you. Man, the Lord bless all of you. I'm telling him, do you the best what you can. Help the man of God, please. Help him. He went a lot of the many things. He went a lot of the many things. He needed help. Do you understand? If he find someone very close to him, if there's something to need to confess, he confess it. And they find someone who can, you can, some, I think sometimes God wants you, you have to talk to someone who can keep that thing. No need to be spoken everywhere. Do you understand? Because I'm seeing the man of God entering the water. He was swallowed by the water. He didn't resurrect us. I believe. The Bible says in uh, 1 Corinthians 2, verse 9. I go to verse 10. But God has revealed them unto us by the, His Spirit. For the Spirit to search all things, yet the deep things of God. All the Spirit, all the presence of God. These ways for the Lord is not joking. He's not joking. It's not joking. I'm no better than all of you. I'm telling you. The may Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Now, many of you now will understand my words exactly. This is my office. I'm Apostle Jesus Anton. I saw we was 24 who men of God. All of them, they wasn't giving kisses to Jesus here. They was not allowed to give in this month. When I come, I want to give him me. He said, No, you give him my lips and my lips. And then I said, Why, Lord? The Lord said, I have given them my anointing. I give them my presence. They play with it. I have given them, you say, all and they play with it. 
That's why they don't allow to give me kiss in my mouth. I'm afraid myself. Do you understand? Know? But it's, then he looked to me. He said, "You, I trust you. You can do this. You can do it, Josiah. That's why I'm no better than all of you. But these things, I need to speak it." Maybe I cannot talk with you there, but my word will comfort you. My word will give you the direction. My word will just help you for what you're facing. This is Apostle Anton. I, I, I know go far. Thank you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I have spoke your word. Now let this word go and resurrect whatever was died, whatever has blocked your servants. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever is hindering him. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every place need of reparation. Every place need of restoration. Let it be done, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Remember his servant. Remember him, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy, please. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. We are all, Lord. We are all. We are all sinners. We are all, Lord Jesus. It's by your grace. And I'm asking as apostle, have mercy. Please. In Jesus' name. May Lord bless you. This apostle is Anton. In Jesus' mighty name. The men of God need me. In Jesus' name, I'm free. In Jesus' name, and if you need me to pray together, I can do it. I can do it because God showed me this. In Jesus' name, and when I will pray and I say it is done, it is done. In Jesus' name, may Lord bless. In Jesus' mighty name, this is Apostle Sam. Bless all of you in Jesus' mighty name. Shalom, shalom, shalom. The next is coming. I will speak for the prophet, prophet Isaac Anton. This is Friday, Isaac Anton from Accra, Ghana. In Jesus' name, shalom.